So I had a requirement for a lossless um, music player. Now I mean lossless. I had a whole bunch of flat files, and I needed a you know some sort of player for it. Now I didn't want to use my phone because number one it fills it up with you know huge amounts of uh, storage required for for lossless files, and you could be talking over a gigabyte for a single album, and the flat support is a bit kind of clunky on Android. You can use VLC player and stuff, but I really, from a storage point of view, I didn't want to put them on it. Now, ideally, I'd get a nice separate plug into my amplifier, but I'd be looking for a network attached type of device, a network player, network media player. Um, the ones I'd be looking at, they're up on seven hundred dollars. So just can't go there. So um, I went on to AliExpress, and there's lots of options there for uh, lossless music players. But the one that caught my eye because it came up in a flash sale um, was this X Duo X3 Professional Elastic Music Player. Now it's a portable player, but um, yeah, you know, that's fine. It's it's got actually line out, so um, you can plug into a amplifier. Um, I didn't pay one hundred and seven dollars. I think it was somewhere in a flash sale around um, seventy dollars, something like that. Still a considered purchase. Uh, certainly not a throwaway item, but um, you know it's still you know reasonable. And um, yeah, I ordered one, and um, it's just arrived. So let's take a look. As for my concerns is that yeah, it looks okay here, and the description, you know, you read the description here, and you know it all it all seems fine. It talks about the um, you know different levels and all the rest. But um, my concern was some stuff you get from AliExpress. You open it up and. You, there isn't really any decent circuitry, it's just some blob and a couple of wires and nothing much in there. So let's take a look at, at the actual device itself. So I have my um, x do labelled as a high fidelity music player, designed and made in China. Kind of sounds like a bit of Apple-esque there. Um, the build quality from the outside, it's um, it seems to be all um, all metal, aluminium, I presume. Decent enough finish. Um, even the buttons are metal. Um, they do slightly rattle, but that's okay. Um, there's a small display. Well, small in today's world. Um, it's it's functional. Um, button layout is a bit quirky. It actually works quite well. Um, it's powered off. It um, has on one side here we've got a two micro SD slots to take 128 gigabyte card, so maximum storage of 256 gigabytes. It's partly the reason I got this is I don't want to put in high fidelity music files onto my phone and they'll just fill it up. Um, it just needs something simple just to leave beside stereo at home. Um, any FLAC files I have, for example, I can put onto it. So I can just put them on these micro SD cards here. Um, you got volume up and down. Um, on the other side, you got a lock, uh, presumed to lock the buttons. At the top, we've got a micro USB for charging and for data transfer. Data transfer is very slow through this. I found it much quicker to take out the cards, plug in the laptop, get music on, plug them in again. So really, charging port is all I use that for. At the bottom, then you've got a microphone. Um, and the line out. Now the difference between the two is the microphone is, is the volume is controlled here on the side. The line out, the volume is 100% all the time. So the idea is to plug that into your amplifier, which is what I'm going to do. And your amplifier controls the volume. So my concerns with some ch cheapish Chinese stuff is that inside is just junk, you know, some blob with no real electronics, just, just cheap and cheerful inside. So kind of curious with this is does what is a reasonable build quality is it matched with reasonable you know components inside this so let's let's take a look as far as I can work out um, it's taken stuff comes from the back out so it's two screws here so two torques um, pretty standard I just want to take a look inside here and see is this just cheap and cheerful or is there some substance to it so let's have a look as soon as this cover comes off it does okay 
Well, it looks fairly decent in here. What have we got? Um, <clears throat> so we've got a firstly 2000 milliwatt amp battery, 3.7 volts, 7.4 watt hour. Um, it's replaceable, which is good. It just sticks on the back here, and plugs in here on the on the circuit board. I'm not sure if this is a multi-layer, dual-layer, whatever it is, but it's a fair bit of stuff on view here. So we've got our two micro DSD cards to go in here. So we've got an um, Ingenic, um, this looks like the CPU. Um, so I can see lines here going from it to the USB. Uh, readers, so presume that, that that the data comes in here is read through here. Um, I'm not going to do a schematic on this, obviously, but I see another what looks like a bus here. Some wires or tracks heading over to this chip here. Now this is a Sirius Logic. Probably can't see it on the camera, but it's Sirius Logic CS4398. So. That is a digital analog converter that makes sense. So data stored here, processed here, gets handed off to here, which converts that into an analog signal. That then looks like this chip here is a um, Texas Instruments um, OPA1612. And that's another one of them there actually, looks like. Or maybe not actually, no, there's one in here, and that's another one of them there. So, they're audio amplifiers, so they're taking the signal from here, the audio, the analog signal from here, and they're, they're, they're amplifying that. And then we also have another set of audio amplifiers here, which are another Texas Instrument chip. They're um, LMH6643. And I assume there's probably pairs here, so we've got a pair we got an audio amplifier, we've got a um, we got a output amplifier and we probably have one going to the line out and we probably have another pair going to the headphone socket. So all in all, I mean there's decent components in here. Um, it's fairly well put together. Um, it's you know for, for the price, it's it's decent. So, happy enough with this. So, I'm going to put it back together and at least I know that it, it's just not some cheap and gimmicky thing. There are some, while we're not talking, um, you know, studio quality or anything like that, there's enough in there to suggest that, you know, the quality, the output, the sound should be fairly, fairly good. Um, just must check for uh, any firmware updates or whatnot. So, that's my... Uh, X do I'm not sure the pronunciation pronunciation but um, it's their X3 player high fidelity music player make sure I haven't bad jacks just shouldn't just yeah it's fine um, so I gotta get it hooked up here get some music on but uh, all in all yeah happy with my purchase so I'm gonna hook it up to my um, to my amplifier here <laughs>